In linear algebra, linear transformations are very important, as you have seen. Linear transformations and their standard matrices seem unlikely to appear in real life. But I can almost guarantee that you have used at least one in the last week, because you probably used Google. So why does Google use these matrices? Well, the algorithm Google uses is based on a special vector of a matrix to sort your search results. This vector is the score of a page within the entire internet. As an example, consider the simplified internet given by websites 1, 2, 3 and 4. An arrow from 1 to 2 means that page 1 links to page 2. The score of page 1 is defined as the sum of the partial scores of all pages linking to page 1. The partial score of a page is the score of the page divided by the number of outgoing links of that page. If xi is the score of page i, we have for page 1 a score x1 equals x3 over 1 plus x4 over 2. Because we have links from page 3 and 4 to page 1, and page 3 has one link, where page 4 has two links. We can do the same for the other four pages, which gives us the shown linear system. But you can rewrite this by taking x as the vector of scores, which gives you a times x equals x, with a as shown. But this means we want a score vector x, such that the matrix times this vector equals a multiple of the vector we were looking for. Such a vector is called an eigenvector, and this vector made Google a 500 plus billion dollar company. Today we are going to focus on eigenvectors, but using matrices of the type Google uses are of course not the only type of matrices. So let us start with a 2x2 two two matrix. Consider the linear transformation T from R2 to R2 with standard matrix B and the two vectors U equals minus 1, 1 and V equals 2, 1. You can calculate the image of U under T, which is of course B times U. This vector is minus 5, minus 1. If you do the same for the image of V under T, the answer is the vector 4, 2. Because it is easy to draw these vectors, you can see that V is special, in the sense that the direction of V times V is the same as V. However, V times V is two times as long as V. So, V times V is two times V. If you compare U and B times U, you will not see any direct relation between these two vectors. The previous slide showed you that the vector V is a special vector for the matrix B, and the scalar 2 is a special scalar for this matrix. For any other square matrix, there can also exist such special vectors and special scalars, which we call eigenvectors and eigenvalues. An eigenvector of an n by n matrix A is a non-zero vector x, such that A times x equals lambda times x for some scalar lambda. So the vector V is an eigenvector of the matrix B from the example, because B times V equal 2 times V. A scalar lambda is an eigenvalue of an n by n matrix A if the equation A times x equals lambda times x has a non-trivial solution. But this means that the scalar 2 is an eigenvalue of the matrix B from the example, because you know a non-trivial solution, namely V. Using the definition of an eigenvector, it is easy to check whether, for example, the vectors u and v are eigenvectors of the matrix A. Let us first take a look at u. If you multiply A and u, you get the vector minus 24, 20. If you take a closer look at this vector, you will see that A times u equals minus 4 times u. So if you take lambda equal to minus 4, you have found that u is an eigenvector of A, and as a bonus, that minus 4 is an eigenvalue of A. Now let's check whether V is an eigenvector of A. A times V becomes minus 9, 11. If you compare A times V with V, you see that the first component of V is multiplied by minus 3, but the second component by minus 5 and a half. So you can safely say that V is not an eigenvector of A. The previous example showed that u was an eigenvector of a with eigenvalue minus 4. Could a have more eigenvalues besides minus 4? Let us try whether 1 is an eigenvalue of a. If 1 is an eigenvalue of a, then the equation a times x equals x 
must have a non-trivial solution. You can rewrite this equation in three steps into an equation you can solve. First, put everything on the left-hand side. Second, use that x equals i times x, where i is the 2 by 2 identity matrix. The third step is to factor x out. Now we have a new matrix, a minus i, times x equals 0 as equation. This equation you can solve using the augmented matrix. The reduced row echelon form is shown on the right. But this means that the only solution is the zero vector. So you can conclude that there are no non-trivial solutions and one is not an eigenvalue of A. The previous example showed that one was not an eigenvalue of A. Might seven be an eigenvalue of A? If seven is an eigenvalue of A, then the equation A times X equals seven times X must have a non-trivial solution. You can rewrite this equation in the same three steps into an equation you can solve, which gives you the equation a minus 7 times i times x equals 0. You can solve this equation using the augmented matrix. The reduced row echelon form now has a free variable. But this means that any vector of the form t times 1, 1 is a solution to the equation. If you take t unequal to zero, you have found a non-trivial solution. So you definitely know from the definition that seven is an eigenvalue of a. In the examples, you have seen how to verify if a vector is an eigenvector and a scalar is an eigenvalue of a matrix. If you only had the matrix, could you somehow think of a way to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this matrix? In class, you will learn how you can do this.